Satanism is the world's first carnal religion. And by being carnal, it means that we're earthy. We accept the nature of the human animal. We don't try to deny it. We don't try to sugarcoat it. We don't try to turn it into something that it isn't. But we want to practically work with it so that we can get the best out of what we have here. And so by being carnal, that means we're part of this vast universe. We don't feel that we need to posit some kind of spirituality to feel that kind of unity. Spirituality and religion can lead people into ignoring what's really here by trying to create some kind of supernatural realm that they're more focused on. And I think that that's a way of misleading people or distracting them from the reality around them. The elements that make us up were f created in the foundries of stars that existed and exploded. That shows our connection when we look at the world around us, at the universe that exists. Isn't that inspiring enough? Do we then have to create some kind of supernatural parental figure? That, that just seems so childish and immature, like people have never grown up. Well, religion is absolutely dangerous for kids because it's trying to lock them into a particular point of view. So many world religions believe that they have the one answer and that everyone else is wrong. And if you don't teach kids to be questioning of things, to look for answers that make sense to themselves, you're stunting their minds, you're stunting their growth, you're keeping them in a state of perpetual childhood. They aren't being invited to become adults. Religion has always worked to control people. God and whatever format has been created is, is an excuse or an explanation for things that people don't understand. But whoever claims to know that God exists and know the mind of God then tells people what that is. And of course, since God doesn't exist, it's just the way they want people to behave. It's a complete device for controlling people. And a lot of people feel comfortable with being controlled. In Satanism, one of our most important principles is responsibility to the responsible. And that means that you're responsible for your life, for your successes, for your failures, for how you deal with other people. You can't blame it on anybody else if you're a Satanist. And that kind of, of responsibility is terrifying to some people because they want to blame somebody for when things go wrong. Or they want to thank somebody if something goes right. They, they can't pat themselves on the back and be happy. If we have the idea that we only live once, that we're not stuck in some cycle of reincarnation or we're not trying to win our way into some sort of heaven, we then realize how precious this life is and how fleeting. And that we would like to spend our time living with enjoying it the best we can, to meet people that we'll cherish and to enjoy their company, to look at the creations of, of cultures all around the world that enrich us, all of the arts and literature and cuisine and architecture. These are things that, that enrich this short time that we have. If people would look in that direction instead of trying to say that they have the answer and they have to make everybody else agree on this answer, that's a key towards finding a certain sort of harmony, a certain real social contract that could be global and would lead to less conflict and more working together so that, because we're all in the same situation. We all want to enjoy our lives. We all want to get the most out of it that we can. I hope someday.